everyone and my name is KT Dean and welcome to my YouTube channel. In these series of videos, I'm going to explain to you all that you do have the transferable skills to get into cybersecurity, but let's get to know me a little bit better. I am the founder of KTS SciLife, a resume business to help students, people that are interested in transitioning to this field, and also seasoned professionals with revamping their resumes, cyber career path development, interview prep, and also salary negotiations. I also authored my first ebook, The Struggle is Real, a blueprint to excelling into the cybersecurity discipline based on my own personal journey of finding employment again after being unemployed for nine months. I share with you all my interview and prep steps, job searching method, building relationships with recruiters, and I also share not other people stories and how they got to cybersecurity. In 2020, I won the Global Rising Star Award from ISC Square for my business, KTS Star Life, due to all the work that I contribute to the cybersecurity discipline. And in this first video series, we're going to discuss the education background. So this is for all the teachers out there that want to get into cybersecurity, but they just don't know what transferable skills they already have to get into this industry. And let's see where you all fall into. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome back. In this section, I'm going to explain to you all if you are a teacher and how you actually fall into the cybersecurity discipline. So for the teachers out there, some of the transferable skills that you already have is that you already know how to develop curriculum for your students. You know how to plan out that curriculum. And you also know how to organize that curriculum and also come up with creative ideas for your lessons plan. So those transferable skills will actually put you into the oversee and governing category within the cyber career pathways tool and some roles that you can actually get into are the following one role is a cyber instructor and for a cyber instructor maybe you just starting out so a great idea is that you could actually create a how to get started in cyber security course and you could pick a particular topic that you're interested in and then you would be able to add that to your resume as a cyber instructor and then explain the various topics within cybersecurity that you are learning about and that's how you can use those skills another title or job position that you could get into is the cyber workforce developer and manager so of course a manager you know you have a lot of years of experience i'm going to say maybe 10 plus years of experience so that's very senior level as i mentioned before you already understand how to develop the lesson plans from your students and you're just basically going to transfer some of those skills and actually look for a role dealing with cyber workforce development per se and some industries that might have that per se, of course, is the education industry that you all are already a part of. So maybe at a university level, you could look and see what type of roles deal with cyber workforce development, or maybe it's a company and they want to revamp how they actually recruit cyber talent so you will come in with your background education and possibly develop a program surrounding the cyber workforce and how to bring in that new talent another area that you all could fall into as well is a cyber instructional curriculum developer and as I'm doing right now, I'm develop content for my YouTube channel that's focusing on cybersecurity. So I could also give myself 
a title of cyber curriculum developer as well because I have to plan out the content for my YouTube video. I have to understand what my where my audience is, what they're looking for. So once again, this tool here, which I basically live and breathe, is a great tool to look into, which is the Cyber Career Pathways tool. And hopefully listening to my advice and actually conducting some research on your own will help you realize that, hey, I'm actually in cybersecurity and I have the following transferable skills and this is how we use these skills to get into cybersecurity. And this is also another great way when you're trying to get into this field, you have to remember when you're creating your resume, think about what transfer transferable skills I already have. And then once you figure out those skills, then of course practice makes perfect. And you have to say to yourself, okay, these are the transferable skills I have from my educational background. This is how this relates to cybersecurity. And these are the type of roles I'm looking for. And once you have that down pat, you will be able to find your next role. So hopefully this helped you all out to discover once again, for the educational background, stay tuned for my next videos where I'll talk about other areas to get to cybersecurity. And make sure you press that subscribe button and share with your friends. Thanks.